What's up gamers? Welcome back to yet again another diecast review and opening. Uh this this one's probably the last one for now. So yeah, so four different Harvick diecasts. I think this one's probably gonna be my second favorite, right behind um the Richmond one which we reviewed last time. And uh let's get right into this one. So this one I was gonna actually have a matching 164 of. Let me go get that real quick. And it took me like 30 seconds to find it, but this is pretty much what it is. But uh there is something else to this one that it's autographed. These were on sale on Circle B diecasts. They were selling them for $66.99, which was the original, which, yeah, which was the original price for 2022 diecast. So I thought, why not? Right? Because you wouldn't want to pass that up, especially if you're a Harvick fan. Uh, I'd hope, but I hope you wouldn't want to pass that up because, you know, that's a great deal for an autographed diecast. Alright, so, this is, let me flip it upside down again, that's like the third time now, instead of like these four diecasts I've done that, Kevin Harvick's Ream Standard from last season, I think he's using it this season, I'm not sure, I haven't really looked at that yet, and, oh, <laughs> Oh man, when I looked at that autograph, first thing, I got a smile out of that one. And my goodness. There goes the... Yeah, but. That there for now. And my goodness. Look at that autograph. Awesome. Now this is my first Harvick autographed card. Um... It should have been one of my other cars that I got, or actually two of them, I got from Watkins Glen, but it turned out to be, uh, one out of 756, I assume, from the original scheme, not the, uh, autograph one. <laughs> I think, uh, there was a limited run on these autograph ones, so I'm not quite sure about that, but. Let's get right into it. So, yes, now... I have a matching 164 with this sucker as well. So here is the Kevin Harvick autographed Ream 2022 scheme. Now, this is an amazing scheme. I love it. Um, I was originally going to pre-order this one at 124 as well. Then I decided 164. Now, uh, I'm going to open the 164 real quick before we get into this, uh, which is right here. Luckily. Now I'm going to show you. I think I've showed this before, but in case new viewers are watching, you haven't seen this yet. So, I think I showed this maybe a couple videos ago. I don't know how long that was. That. Focus. Focus. Hello. It's not focusing. Okay, there we go. Right there. It's a little bit off. Right, like a little tiny bit. But yeah, this is the matching 164. Obviously not autographed. And the, the M is kind of chipped, like as if it was a race version. It's also why I kind of stopped getting 164s. <laughs> Because 124s are better quality. Most of the time. And yeah, this this other side doesn't have that little uh, off. Anyway, so that was the 164. I really never reviewed that one on this channel. Uh, well, I have. It just really wasn't the like I did there. 
it was just the one side I think uh, had an issue with. Now, back to the autographed one. Um, like I said, I love this game a lot. I like the pink one too, but I wanted to get the red one just because I like it more, I guess. Now, let's see. DIN 95. The other one, uh, the Richmond one was DIN 90, or not 90. The Richmond one was 111. So, uh, pretty close to the same one here. Now, let's take a look at the sponsors. Uh, Humpro's Pizza, Pristine Auction, Subway, Rain.com, Bush Light, Rain 4, Cup Series, Goodyear, and then, let me look here too. Uh, Bush, Ream, two Reams, and then Mobile One and the four, and the four Michigan Lights. But I did uh, mention that in the last video, but it was probably covered in confetti if, uh, if I go back and look at that. But uh, there's your Kevin Harvick autograph, and then Ream, Ford, the four, and Stuart Haas Racing right there and then on this other side pretty much have the same stuff also Kevin Harvick on the uh, name rails uh, gear wrench as well I don't know what that SK is and then Ream Racing yeah I don't know what that SK means but yeah pretty much the same stuff Ream, Ream.com, 4, Cup Series Goodyear Bush Light, Subway, Pristine Auction, and Hunt Brothers Pizza. And I think I said Blue Ranch already, but. Take a look at the autograph real quick. It's uh, actually pretty good, actually. Once again, first Harvick autographed diecast. Uh, I wish it was one of the other cars from Watkins Glen last year. Uh, didn't happen, but I am glad I finally got an autographed Harvard car before you tires, just in case I don't get one again this year at the Glen. And there's that. Uh, I love the design on this also. The design is incredible. SHR rarely misses on these kind of, uh, on the schemes. Uh, although... I don't know if it's even their fault, but Mobile One scheme this year is not it. It just really isn't. Um, it's just a plain white car. I, I explained this in the last video with the Richmond win. It's just a plain white car with the Pegasus. And I loved the Mobile One design last year. I loved it. Um, a lot of people didn't, which I don't get. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of people actually liking the new design. I don't like it. I, it's not a design. Even, I don't know why I'm calling it design. It's just a plain white car. That's uh, all it is. Not any of the designers, or Kevin's fault really, are as far as I know, but I just don't understand why they changed it from what the beauty it was last year. But all in all, that does it for this video. Hopefully you uh, guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, smash the like button, subscribe, and uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload from me. And uh, yeah, that's all that iCast reviews for now. Uh, until a couple of weeks, I hope. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see you all gamers next time, and have a great day, gamers.